y'all it's latrice with purposefully living listen i just wanted to share a little something something from my heart um kind of a smorgasbord but i'll just say this i was just reading um i got up this morning was praying and came to the gym and i'm letting the kids do their gym time outside time but i woke up this morning um very heavy we had a loss in our family and um i don't know even though i was processing that i just though remember just um trying not to cry not child just telling god just use me like use me use me use me like what a privilege what a privilege it is to be a servant um for the kingdom of god what a privilege it is to be um named as a child of god what a privilege it is to be an ambassador for christ and i guess i just want to say to you all um purposefully living is not just a mantra get fit is not just a mantra it's not a, a tagline god first goal self camp it's something that i firmly believe in i have seen the hand of god i'm not perfect y'all i've made so many mistakes but I know who I am in God. I know that my past does not define my future. I know that the, God's word is the most powerful thing that exists. And I just want to encourage you that, listen, if you're going to live for God, live for him. Ask God to show you your purpose. Because so many of us believers say we know God, but we don't even know. Like, what are you doing for him? You gave your life to him. You accept them in your heart. Now what? You know, who is being changed by your life? Because in case you didn't know it, that's supposed to be happening. God wants us to be where we're planting. I mean, there's so many people. Understand that there's one you. There's one me. I'm not challenged by other coaches. I'm not shocked. There's one Latrice with my personality, with my purpose, with my DNA. And every day I show up, I don't have to compare myself. I don't have to worry about what is this person doing? How they get their clients. God will divinely download a plan just for me. God, when I acknowledge him first, recognize him and say, Lord, I want to walk in the order steps you've already designed for my life. He will walk me through that plan. He will give me the best route for living out the purpose he's created for me. That's why I say God first, goal second. You can't pursue a goal that he gave you without him. And whether you know it or not, your passions, your personality, your mistakes, your pains, all of it, he wants to use, but you got to come back to him. And so I guess I just wanted to say to you this morning, live for him if you have accepted the lord in your life live for him like ask god what and how does he want to use your life because he he wants to use it he has things for you to do i just begin to think about so many people that I know and i just said lord use me use my voice it's not about me like i just want to be a vessel a conduit to show forth your love to show forth your miraculous hand to show forth your delivering power i want people to think latrice latrice mcta latrice mcta who parents is larry and faye mcta that latrice i want people to say that and then look at me now and go what happened because like paul said i am a testimony of god's extraordinary grace his extraordinary mercy. I am a testimony that if he did it for me, he's not a respected person. He can deliver you. He can keep your mind regulated. He can change your language to where you're not cussing and living a, a vulgar life. He can change you because he did it for me. But y'all people need to know that God is real. They need to know people are leaving here that don't know the Lord. And we are going to be held accountable for people that sat right in front of us. And we said that we knew the Lord and we didn't open our mouth. We didn't pray for them. We didn't share the gospel of Jesus Christ. We want to be undercover Christians. You will be held accountable. Because so many people are going to say you knew and then you didn't even share it with me. Ask God to open doors. Ask God to show you. Open your eyes. It can just be right at the park. It could be that mom that you sit with every day. Ask the Lord to give you how to share the gospel. 
It's not always wearing the Jesus or coming with the Bible. It starts sometimes with a smile. It's just sometimes finding that common ground and the Lord will show you that. But there are people right where we are that need to know the Lord. And I just, for me, get fit is getting focused, intentional, and tenacious about God first and go second. It's really, really taking the time to like really make sure that people know I'm, I'm doing something right now, babe. Okay. It's really making sure that people know who God is. That's, that's what it's to me. It's all about It's really making sure that someone knows that they have value, that their divorce, divorce doesn't define them. Their, their mental status doesn't define them. Their, their, whatever their parents and however their financial status was and whatever. I mean, listen, you, we are in another kingdom. <laughs> and so I don't know. I just wanted to take a moment to say, when I get on here and I'm posting the pictures and I'm encouraging and I'm doing the podcast, y'all, this is ministry for me. Like I love people and I want people to know through my life he's real. And so if you are proclaiming that you have given your life to the Lord, you are held responsible. You are held responsible for that word that you screenshot and put on Instagram and Facebook, but you don't live it. You are held responsible for the tweet that doesn't mean anything to you. God holds you accountable for that word. Who are you depositing to? Who are you strengthening to? Who are you praying for? So I just wanted to encourage someone because this is real to me. Souls are real to me. God is real to me. Yes, he will bless you beyond what you can even imagine. But if God never did anything for me, I'm not serving him for the bank account. I'm not serving him. I'm serving him because he's sovereign. He's good. He changed my life. He changed my mind. Like I, the fact that I know who I am. I know what it means to be redeemed. I know what it means to have a past and see the grace of God. I know what it means to walk through some of the hardest times, but know that I was never alone. I know what it's like to see and to cry tears, but to know that God will be an anchor. He will get you through. He will be right there. You can be in the fire and not be burned. I know what it is to maybe not have so many funds, but get the dream house. And it wasn't based on my bank account. I know what it is to know God is a miracle worker. And so for me, get fit. It's saying more than focusing on this body, your soul going somewhere. And if I can get somebody fit in their soul and then it just shows outwardly and listen, you get in that size 8, 10, whatever dress you want too great. But where's your soul going? You're going to leave here one day and you, God wants you to know that he's real. And those of us that know this word and we are not being the correct witness, you're standing in the way of a sinner. You know the word of God and you sitting right there with people that you're being a block. You're going to be held accountable. Every soul that you stand in, the, you're standing in a way you're going to be held accountable. God wants us to be messengers of his mercy, of his grace, of his forgiveness, of his love. Oh my God, of his love. And when we are not doing that, we will be held accountable. Because lives should be changed because of our lives. Yes, people are whole people. They got to make a decision. But what you do for Christ is all that matters. That's all that matters. Ecclesiastes lets us know. Listen, you can get all of the millions, the houses, and flaunt on Instagram, all your stuff. But when you leave here, it will be here. All of it is vanity. Only what you do for Christ is going to matter. So whose life is being changed by your life? When is the last time you've even shared? Do people even know that you know the Lord? I mean, you hashtag it. You put it out there. But who really knows that you love God? You're going to be held accountable. Y'all, people need to know. I'm so glad that my parents didn't give up on me. I'm so glad so many people kept telling me the right way. I'm so glad that they didn't just entertain and, and become different. I'm so glad 
that they just kept sharing a message because I am a life that was changed because somebody was willing to share the message. And that's all I want to do. So I just wanted to encourage somebody today. Purposefully living is really my heart because God wants us to live an abundant life, y'all. And that abundant life isn't just limited to riches and money and houses. It's peace. Do you know how priceless peace is? It's joy. That when life is happening, when circumstances, when you are living, literally standing in hell, but yet on the inside of you, you have joy. That's abundant life. And then, yes, God will bless you with things. But he wants your him. To, he wants to be your source and everything else is a resource. And I don't know why I want to get on here and say that, but I just want to get on there and say that y'all get fit for real. Get fit, get focused, intentional, and tenacious about God's plan for your life. He has a plan. He created you. If you're looking at me and you're like, I don't even know who God is. What are you talking about? He created you. Go to Psalms 139. Download the Bible app and look up Psalms 139 and read it. Read it in the Amplified, AMP or Message Version, MSG. Read it. He's the one that put you in your mother's womb. Think about it. He knows you inside and out and he has a book. He has a plan for your life. But here's the thing. You have to be willing to trust him. That's why it reminds us it's impossible to please him without faith. If you're waiting for this, you know, somebody to give you the whole plan and tell you everything. That's not how he works. You got to walk it out. But he loves you so much. Ephesians reminds us there's nothing that can separate you from his love. Nothing. Your past, your mistakes today. He said, just come when he calls right through me right now. It's a call. When he calls, you can't harden your heart. He said, come only what you do for Christ matters. I don't care if you got the millions. I don't care if you got the hundred thousand. I don't care if you got more houses than mine, but honey, when I leave here, oh my God, I'm ready. Are you ready? Only what you do for Christ matters. He has a plan for your life. Listen, if your passion is law, he's not, God is not a God that's going to be like, oh, I'm actually going to send you to become a groundskeeper. No, he gave you the passion for law. He wants you to be happy, but he wants you to give that law degree to him. He wants you to say, God, how do you want to use this? When he bring people who've made mistakes, maybe he needs you to be bold enough to say, before we go in this, how are you? I know we don't have any we, we don't know how this case can go out, but either way it go, God wants you to know that he can change your life from this moment forward. He wants you to use the law degree for him. He wants you to be bold enough with your medical degree to be able to share that he's a healer. I know in this day and time, girl, that gets your life. But when you stand up for him, he'll stand up for you. I don't know. I just need to say that to somebody. Pray y'all have a blessed day. Only what you do for Christ matters. Bye.